Hello friends, today I am on the platform of English Yari. The tutors here are amazing. Let's go. Topic with us. Yeah. It's internet. All right. So uh, I think that in this uh, new technological era, internet has become a part of everyone's life. It has just become a necessity. Video calls, just emails. And you know one thing my mom told me, this is very interesting, they used to have the trunk call. Uh, they used to say, yeah, I'm there. I visited many tourist places in Calcutta. It was very nice. I visited Nico Park, Eco Park, Science City, Birla Planetarium, and uh, many more places like Victoria Memorial and yeah, Indian Museum. And you seem to be a student to me. There are a lot of books behind you. Yeah, I'm a student of uh, I'm a student of class seven. Seven. Oh, wow! This is the first time I'm talking to a, a student of class seven actually online. I mean, I have taught students outside of the internet, but not one on the net as yet. All right, Arundhati, yeah. tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay, so uh, you already know my name, Arundhati Rukhtima. I'm from yes. Chhattisgarh. And I live in a city called Bhilai. It's just near the capital of the state, Raipur. And mm -hmm. uh, I, my hobbies are painting, dancing, singing, and reading books. And I study in class seven uh, in Delhi Public School, Bhilai. And yeah, I think that's it. Okay, great. So Arundhati, you said you read a lot of books and I can see those books behind you. So uh, what is the type of books that you like to read, the genre? Uh, means I like to read fiction books. Fiction, okay. So adventure or anything else apart from adventure or what is uh, it? Yeah. Uh, means like that only. I have this series of books called the Journey of Stilton books. It's like a story of a mouse and his adventures and they are my favorite series. So yeah, that types of books. And I also read Harry Potter, the magical things. Geronimo's uh, series are fantastic to learn actually English. It's a fantastic series oh. to learn English. Very cute, yeah. short sentences and it aids students to learn the language in a very, very beautiful way. Easy way, that is. All right. Yeah, yeah that's wonderful. So, Bilai, you have the steel plant, I believe. I haven't been to Bilai, yeah. but yeah, I have learned about it through books that uh, the steel plant is there. So, mm. okay. Now Arundhati, tell me why do you want to why did you want to come on English Yari on such a platform and speak to us? Uh, I just want to increase my confidence and my fluency in speaking English. So that's why I'm here on this platform. Okay, so uh, your fluency seems good to me and confidence also seems wonderful, but uh, I don't see anything lacking here and you study in DPS. So yeah. I don't think we should be missing out on confidence levels over here. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm confident uh, uh, when when I'm speaking with a particular person or a, an individual. But when I have to do public speaking in front of many people, for example, on stage or in uh, with a group of people, so at that time my confidence just uh, decreases. Okay, so it doesn't have anything to do with the language as such, I believe. Is there anything yeah. to do? Language. I think that my language is quite good. I just want to improve my fluency. It means uh, I have this uh, issue that I use the word uh, yeah, like that, the filler words very much. So I want to improve that and uh, my confidence. Yes, the filler words are again uh, because, see, even I use them because uh, you see, Indians, as basically we are not English speaking people. So for us yeah. to gather certain words all of a sudden becomes difficult, right? Suddenly, yeah. while you are constructing a sentence, you don't think much while talking to somebody or while mm. public speaking, usually we don't much put a stress on, we actually put a lot of stress while public speaking. We have to have the points ticked out for us in our brains yeah. and we have to know uh, how to put place the words one after the other. So that becomes a botheration and it, botheration, why? Because we have so many people looking at us. Mm, they seem yeah. like headlights in front of us. So public speaking fear is a very common fear. Even I have it, I used to have it on stage, fright. See, when I was young like you, 
I used to go for a lot of extempories and debates and I used to perform on stage as an elocution. Elocution was my strong point. So over oh. there also there was a stage fright. But something, you know, what happened, I will give you an example why I'm telling you about myself because I used to be like you also reading a oh. lot of books. But when I used to have this uh, stage fright, even though mm. I would love to do all that, I loved doing all that, going on public and speaking. I would like to place myself on the pedestal and talk to people. But at that mm. time, my principal taught me something. He said, when you look at the audience, don't look directly to the audience's eyes. Look mm. a little bit above, you know, the head, like right above the head. So the audience doesn't catch where your eyeballs go. You are just looking on top of their heads. And while you're yeah. speaking, yes, you have the points already in your mind. And at that time, the flow that you have will not create tension. Hmm. Okay, so you just have to address the public as in above their heads, not exactly, you know, you are catching all the reactions and you're thinking this person is thinking this about me, that person is thinking that about me. Oh my God, how am I going to face my teachers when I come out? So these all things are very common fears. We can remove them easily. Okay. Mm. Now, the thing is, we have already got a topic with us. Yeah. It's internet. All right. So internet is again because we are coming to again speaking. So you will speak now about the internet and I will listen to you. Okay. So uh, should I start? Yes. Okay. So I think that in this uh, new technological era, internet has become a part of everyone's life. It has just become a necessity. Just as we uh, eat food, we breathe in air, we sleep, we study. So just like that, in the same way, internet has become a necessity of our life. Without that, we are not able to live our lives properly. So I think that at least 10 hours I sleep and the rest of 14 hours in that at least seven to eight hours I use internet because I have my online classes, six to seven hours for that. And the rest of the hours are for like my entertainment or some time pass like that. So internet, uh, we, ha we have a lot of use of internet in our daily lives. And uh, especially for me, as I'm a student, so I have a lot of use of internet because of online classes. And uh, then we also get homeworks, assignments, projects in form of PDF in, in the app called Google Classroom. So we have to do everything on that. So I guess I spend two or three hours on those things for completing my homework, notes and project. And sometimes uh, I have my tuitions for singing and coding classes. For that, again, I have to use the internet. And uh, then I have to, I sometimes use internet for entertainment as well. For example, I uh, watch movies, the Harry Potter movies, and I listen to songs. For that also, I need internet. And uh, then I've seen my mom uh, using internet for uh, getting things from the market, whether it is food, uh, grocery or vegetable or even medicines. My mom always orders from online stores. She never just goes out for market, the real offline market, <laughs> not offline, the market, the actual market. She just orders them online from any uh, store like Amazon, Flipkart and anything. So yeah, I think the use of internet has increased a lot in this COVID-19 pandemic because everyone is uh, dealing with internet, work from home, online classes and all those things are there. So yeah, internet has become a part of our life. Just like the oxygen, we need internet nowadays because that we won't be able to live our life properly. We won't be able to contact others. Uh, we wouldn't have any social activities. So yeah, I would say that internet is one of the greatest invention of mankind. It has uh, many advantages as well. We can communicate very easily. It has become very easier, faster and cheaper as well. My mom used to tell me that uh, they used to have this postcard thing and manual letters. They used to write it. And that took a lot of time because the postcard at least took one day to reach the other person. So yeah, it has become very faster. Just with 
one click we can just send the message or even call video calls emails and you know one thing my mom told me this is very interesting they used to have the trunk call uh, they used to call means for calling other people in other countries they used to have this trunk call system so yeah means it took a lot of time and uh, now we have many chat apps video calling apps social media email uh, for for example whatsapp instagram we can just type our message one click and it it has been sent the message sent and within a few minutes you'll get the answer back and uh, i think for a study also internet has is very helpful because we get many a uh, study material uh, we have many apps for studies we can clear our doubts we can even contact the teachers very easily uh, we can call or ask them and you know we can also do group studies with the with our friends and you know today morning i was having a group study with my friend for a project that i have to submit on monday so yeah it has become very easy study is also very easy nowadays but you know internet uh, sometimes means it can create a little issue in studying as well because on exams people can cheat because of internet so yeah that is one issue related to study about internet and you know we can also show our uh, hidden talent for example i uh, want to sing so i can just record a video and post it on youtube my talent will be shown to every people so yeah that's a good thing we have many apps for our entertainment and we uh, also have online marketing we don't need to go outside we can just go on amazon or Flip flipkart and just search the item we need and just buy it you'll get that thing in a few days or or, or whatever time it is and, uh, and then we have google maps and it is a very nice thing because uh, whenever we are lost we are going somewhere and we don't know the route so we can just take our phones switch on the internet and go on google maps we'll get the route and the easiest way we can get the google map the route and for entertainment also for example if you're just bored and you want to do something so you can just go on the internet uh, go on social media apps watch some movies or listen songs or do anything you like so that is a great thing and uh, i think yeah advantages there are many advantages but sometimes there are disadvantages as well so you know i think that life has become like a machine means our feelings love uh, are just replaced by these apps we have no emotions we just we are all busy with these apps we just for example if you want to wish happy diwali to someone so you just take a photo with someone has forwarded and then forward it to them that's it we don't have any uh, real emotions when we are messaging online or calling each other but in olden times my mom used to tell that they used to go to their relatives home and they used to celebrate many festivals they used to talk they used to play and enjoy but nowadays all are busy with apps uh, in every home it, at least most of the people have their phones with them and yeah life has become very busy with mobiles at some time i think that it is a wastage of time as well because you get distracted from the things that you actually want to do and then you get distracted from from your goals you waste time and the day is over and you have wasted another day so that's it and uh, we have also harmful effects from the internet because uh when you use internet you'll you'll have your mobile obviously so the harmful rays will affect your eyes and it can affect your mental health as well because on internet uh, people show their best selves so if you think that they are better than you so you get a little sad and you get demotivated about yourself so yeah i think yeah that's it good very good arunduti i liked all the topics that all the points that you have gathered with yourself very good okay and uh, there were few very negligible language mistakes which i'll say very neg negligible once people are listening to you they will listen to all your points and those are your strong points you are putting your points very well uh, one after the other and that's why we can just neglect all the little faults that come you know while speaking that is sometimes mm -hmm. we use in between instead of of or out instead of in 
so these are little words which we can just you know ignore while the listeners yeah. can ignore all right yeah that's mm. fine okay a little bit more on the topic like you were saying internet so um, these days uh, is your school opening uh yeah i mean it's online it's, it's alternate that a few days you have to go offline school and the rest of the days you have to attend online classes okay so hybrid they they call it hybrid these days so oh, hybrid yeah it's a hybrid pattern okay uh, half sometimes you have on, have online classes sometimes you have offline classes uh, there are things like if given a choice to you would you like to do offline or online if you had a choice i'd like to go for offline because i think when you're online frozen. you get uh, yeah. means Tell me. you, you don't have means you cannot study properly means you don't have the contact with the teacher and uh, yeah so it's not good we also have harmful effects in our eyes so that's why i don't like the offline you uh, would that like to be touched Hmm. So yeah, I was saying that offline classes are really very good, but online are not that good because in offline we can talk with the teachers, we can have conversations with our friends, we can discuss things very easily. But on online, it's not that good. We uh, means we it's not that good. We don't get the surrounding the environments. So yeah, I think offline is better, and I would definitely like to go for offline. Okay, a uh, two years back when the schools actually closed down because of COVID nineteen. Before that, you would be uh, taking offline classes, right? I think yeah. you were in class five or six, maybe. Okay, so did you enjoy your time in school? If you I, think that time, <laughs> at that time it was all offline, so I didn't understand the value of school. But now, it uh, when the Corona time was there, it, it was on all online. So at that time, I was missing the school, and I at that time I realized the value of schools. So uh, I was just at that time when I was in class fifth, I was just neglecting all the good things. I was not uh, in, uh, yeah. better. after covid-19 yeah. and the experiences right yes. yes and you would want to go out and meet with your friends and teachers and take classes like you used to take exams like you have said yeah. exam people can cheat in exams while giving online like tests i mm. always used to wonder i don't know how people will manage these exams and how teachers are correcting such copies because yeah. already we know that students will be obviously not all students are very honest to the code it's not easy also for them because obviously mm. you are not in touch with everybody so you like to it's an easy way out internet is an easy way out all right like mm. i am speaking to you today you are connecting with me from bilai imagine and i am sitting in calcutta okay oh kolkata yeah yes i am in calcutta i have visited kolkata once not you, once many times it was very nice okay. oh do you have any relatives in calcutta uh no for some medical issues i had to go to kolkata okay medical in the sense like you had to take uh, some kind of uh, some kind uh, of uh, means test. the appointment of doctor the doctor was in kolkata and i had to go to delhi uh, not delhi kolkata for the uh, uh, the uh, appointment and the things yeah okay the treatment all right okay so that means you are uh, not new to the city if you do yeah. come do let me know <laughs> yeah calcutta has got a lot of food very good food over here we we yeah. have a very... yeah and you know uh, when i was there i visited many tourist places in calcutta it was very nice i visited nico park eco park science city birla planetarium and uh, many more places like victoria memorial and yeah indian museum Indian museum. Yes. Yes, Indian museum is there also. Like yeah. you have seen most of it, most of it, like whatever yeah. people want to see actually in Calcutta. So it's very mm. nice. Thank you for uh, appreciating <laughs> the city actually. Okay. Anyways, we are down to our timing. The timing is off. Already done with 20 minutes. It just swoosh yeah. goes. Isn't <laughs> it? Do you have any yeah. online classes now again? Uh, means yeah, I have my extra classes. I have my coding classes, and yeah. 
Yes. Okay. Okay. Fine, Arundhati. And it was nice talking to you. And I wish to get back again and speak with you again once more. Okay. Yeah. It was really nice to talk to you too. Thank you. And bye bye. Have a nice day. Okay. Bye bye.